We're currently on Betty Street, and this is in the inner city of Johannesburg. Um, there are eight buildings in the street that have been hijacked and are illegally connected to the electricity grid, costing city power um, in excess of 14 million rand. That eight of these buildings on Betty Street are owing the city. Now, the city claim that one real revelation that came out today was that lawyers are involved in the hijacking of these buildings. And how they do this, um, it's quite clever in the sense that they go to the deeds office and they pay off someone that works in the deeds office who changes the details of the actual owner of the building and puts in the wrongful details of someone else. Therefore, these committees that hijack these buildings then question the actual owner saying, you're not the owner of this building, but the deeds, according to the deeds office, we've got another name on here. And that's how these buildings become hijacked. Now, the city, the MMC for public safety, gave us a little bit of information of how they're actually tracking down certain lawyers and they're building up dossiers in terms of who are involved in these organized syndicates of hijacking buildings. It goes very deep. It goes quite high up in terms of involving officials and police officers from what our sources tell us. But um, at the end of the day, this is not going to stop until city power, the city of Johannesburg can get a grip on the culprits or the mafia style people that are involved in hijacking these buildings. For Eyewitness News, I'm Aaron Singh in Joburg's inner city.